One year ago, I built, okay, let's be correct, I tried to build 3D printer pressure washer. It was a disaster. Actually, the whole video was a disaster. I told it's only part one, and I mean it. Now, one year later, we are back in business. Recently, I built a gear bump. Today, we build three more. We connect them all together. And will we have a pressure washer? Who knows? Actually, I know. It's kinda worked. But it was fun. And this video is sponsored by PCB Way. For this project, we need four of those gear bumps that I pulled in the last video. So let's pull three more. I 3D printed all necessary parts. Gears are printed with Creality Halot 1 resin printer. I wash and cure those with Creality Wash and Cure Station. So here is all what we need. Jesus, lot of work to do. We have to start with modifying those 775 motors a bit. I have avoided this job long time, but now it have to be done. We have to sand one side of motor shaft flat. Well, exactly 1.25 millimeters of metal has to be sanded away. It's actually not a difficult job, but you have to hold A on the measurements to not grind too much. There is no coming back. The end measurement has to be 3.75 mm, it can flex plus minus 0.1 mm, it should be fine. Now when this is done, we can assemble 3 gear bumps. First, I attached motor mounts. Then I remove supports. Then I realized I didn't have enough hose nozzles. I went to the hardware store. I screwed those on. I use a little bit of rubber glue between pump body and motor mount. What was actually too much. I attached those two together. After press fitting two bearings to the nut driver gear, we can assemble those. And the final thing, top lead. I use an acrylic CNC lead. I ordered this from PCB Way. PCB Way has now absolutely perfect CNC machining service. By the way, not only CNC machining, they have also 3D printing service, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. Using their service is absolutely easy. Just upload your 3D model, select the material. I have always streamed titanium storage box. And you are done. The bars that I ordered, so nice, nothing to complain about. So if you need some bars and you don't have right machining or tools, PCB Way is your 3D printing and CNC one-stop solution. Back to the video. Between the water pump body and lead, I use a bit rubber glue to seal it better. And after that, I secure a lead to the bump with M4 bolts. Now we need to build an outlet. I'm using this press thing where I can connect four hose nozzles. For one side I had to use this stop nut or whatever it is, and the other side I need an adapter what make 3 8 inch threads to the half an inch. And there goes another hose nozzle. Yeah, it's all. Let's put this together.
and it's done. Now I took a one wood plate to build this whole system. For bumps I printed this type of mount, I absolutely nailed the measurements. And now big oopsie doopsie happened. My camera or SD card did little joke for me. I recorded the whole thing, but look at that. I'm getting only audio files. So sadly I cannot show how I built this, but I basically connected the tubes and there was nothing so special anyway. Okay, so here we are. Because I didn't have the opportunity to show the footage, I show you the final product. Those tubes over here. Those are inlets, what is connected to the water pumps. Then those are gear bump outlets. And every outlet is connected to this brass thing. So the pump outlets will meet each other in here. And this over here is the final outlet. All the water will be shoot out from here. But okay, now I am outside to test this. This is absolutely first time. Power for the pumps I will take straight from the car battery. By the way, right now I'm trying to understand will all pumps turning to the right direction. And I didn't really wanna run them dry. Plus there is a problem with pump 1. It's not turning for some reason. Well actually it was bad connection, I got this fixed pretty easily. But uh, then happened a new problem with the same pump. Long story short, this motor I have used over a year in many different projects. Other 3 water pump motors are brand new and this old one just cannot keep up with them. Inside the brass outlet there is pretty high pressure and because this pump number 1 is so weak it cannot keep up. Water will find the way to the low pressure through the water pump number 1. The fix for this is shut this off and motor will be retired. I did now testing with 3 motors and it worked quite well. Now I know my system works. I attach one pressure washer gun to the outlet. By the way, it's pretty cheap and shitty, but I hope it does the work. Well, it's kind of working. Results are way better than last year, but still, I'm not happy yet. Right now pumps are sucking water in by themselves. My next plan is to use a new inlet for those pumps. I use again this brass thing where I can connect 4 tubes. But I will use only 3. So the water is now coming into the pumps from my house water system. This is how pressure washer what you can buy from the hardware store actually works. Ok all tubes are connected. Let's see how it's performed now. The leaking, yo, this is, I'm so tired of this shit, I don't even give attention to this anymore. And let's be honest, it's a little tradition. Is the performance improved? Yes it is. Is this working now so well that I can call this pressure washer, maybe really weak pressure washer or something. You know, it's doing something. The real question is, is this worth of time and money to build this crazy leaking thing? Probably not. Because if you look at this footage right now, it's cleaning something. So definitely it's working, just not really well. Why I even did this video? Because I promised to do part 2 and I have seen in the comments you are really waiting for this. Also multi-stage water bump. So in the end, I'm happy with the result and not. I'm happy because improvement have happened and this thing looks pretty good in my opinion. And I'm not happy because I hope to see a bit better result and less leaking. I hope you enjoyed my miserable attempt to build this again. Is there part 3 coming? I think so, but not in near future and when I have some better ideas how to get this working. But this is it for this time. Thank you for watching and see you guys again really soon. Bye.